Today, I'm going to be letting my fidget collection decide what I eat for a full 24 hours. This video is going to be crazy and I am so excited for it. So last night I went through my entire fidget collection, every single drawer, and I found all of the food themed fidgets and I put them into one clear container. And so how this is going to work is for every meal of the day, I'm going to come to this bin of fidgets and I'm going to close my eyes and select three to four fidgets. So let's just say for example I pull out this fidget right here it just so happens to be a pink donut so that means for part of my meal I would go and I would buy a strawberry frosted donut with sprinkles because that's the real life food that would best represent this fidget and I actually did a video series like this a few years ago where I would let my lip balms decide what I eat. And then I also did one with my Bath & Body Works collection and my Squishy collection. And you guys always really seem to enjoy those. So today we are bringing the series back. But before we get started with this, I have a challenge for all of you watching. I want to see if you guys can like, click subscribe, and turn on post notifications in just five seconds. Here goes the countdown. Five, four, three two, one, time's up. If you guys were successfully able to complete the five second challenge, then I want you to comment down below. <gasps> Ooh, I have a good one. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what food would you choose? It's like a really, really, really difficult question to answer. I'd have to think about that one for a second. Anyways, you guys, without further ado, we are going to get straight into this 24 hour challenge and I hope that you'll enjoy watching. So let's see what our first meal is going to look like. So it is currently around 9.45 a.m. So it's still pretty early, but girl, I am getting hungry. I already made my morning coffee. Look at the mug, it's so cute. It says all I need is coffee and makeup, so true. But that doesn't count, okay? I need my coffee because it's like my battery juice. Without it, I, I just wouldn't be me. All right, you guys, here we go. So the first item we'll be having for breakfast is, <gasps> okay, wait, this is so perfect. Oh my gosh, it's an egg splat ball. It actually makes sense to have for breakfast. I mean, guys, we could have gotten anything. We could have gotten cake, we could have gotten ice cream. I mean, hey, I'm not complaining. I would love to eat cake and ice cream for breakfast, but we're not done though. We're gonna pick out two more items to also eat for breakfast. So it could get kind of weird right about now, all right? What the, okay, so, hmm. I suppose I could get sort of creative with this fidget that I selected. So as you guys could see, this is supposed to resemble a bottled beverage of some sort that has green liquid inside. The way these look remind me so much of nickel nips. If you guys don't know what those are, then you're probably much younger than me. I think, honestly, I'm going to see if I could find maybe like a green smoothie or something at the store. Yeah, that'd be really good for breakfast. And then one last item. Ah! guys it's a banana it's a little mini squishy banana wait why is this actually a perfect breakfast honestly like i said i have done videos like this many times before with my lip balm collection and i can remember one time i had like cotton candy and cookie dough and lollipops for breakfast because those were the lip balm flavors that i picked out and it was just like oh it made you sick. So this is actually a really, really solid breakfast. I am so excited. Let's get cooking. Fidget egg, real egg. Green fidget drink, real green drink. Squishy banana and real banana. Here is our fidget inspired breakfast. So as you can see, for the green drink, I decided to get this green machine smoothie. Literally just got this from Target. And then we have our splat ball egg and I have a hard boiled egg. And then of course we have a banana and the little squishy banana. Honestly, it's crazy because I would legit eat something like this for breakfast. So we definitely got super lucky. And um, I'm sorry, I cannot put this splat ball egg on the plate. It would look so aesthetically pleasing if I did, but fidgets that are kind of sticky like this do collect little fuzzies and hairs. Okay, I'm putting salt on my egg. I'm salting my egg. <clears throat> Why does it feel so awkward eating a hard boiled egg in a YouTube video? I don't know, but okay, here we go. Comment below you guys, your favorite way to eat eggs. Do you like them scrambled, sunny side up? 
hard boiled. I feel like it really depends on my mood. I love hard boiled eggs around Easter. Usually you dye them and they just taste extra good around that time. But okay, now we are going to unpeel our banana. And this is probably the worst banana fidget that I have in my collection. I wish I would have gotten the super realistic looking one. I'm gonna try opening this from the bottom because supposedly it's easier that way. I don't know, you guys. Ew, no, that's gross. You see all the brown stuff at the bottom. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna open it the regular way. I used to have such difficulty killing bananas when I was younger. <sighs> this one is so perfectly ripe. I cannot eat bananas if they're too green or if they have like any brown spots. This is the perfect stage. Does anyone else feel that way? Anyways, the last part of this meal is the green smoothie, the green machine smoothie. Yes. I feel like when I was younger, I would have never, ever, ever wanted to drink something like this. We're going to give it a go. Here is the green drink fidget and we're going to do a little cheers. I gave it a good shaking before this, so. Okay, why does this low-key taste like, wait, hang on. I don't know why. This is good, don't get me wrong. It's pretty good considering how healthy it is, but it tastes slightly like tomato soup. Why? I don't know. It doesn't say that there's tomato in here. Um, oh wait, boosted with, there's lots of other things. I just read the fruits. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, how could this be completely green from apples, mango, banana? There's also, what the heck, alfalfa? That's a vegetable, what is that? Spirin, I don't know how to pronounce half of these. Broccoli, spinach, barley, grass, wheatgrass, ginger, parsley, kale, garlic, oh, what the heck? Okay, this is interesting. I rate the taste of this like a six out of 10 maybe. So anyways, I am going to go to Target now because I literally always have to go to Target and I will update you guys when it is time to pick our fidgets for our lunch. Two hours later. We got really, really lucky with an amazing breakfast this morning. Now let's see what lunchtime is going to look like. I took out the ones that I had for breakfast so we wouldn't get repeats, but something's telling me we're gonna get pineapple because I have so many pineapple themed fidgets, it's not even funny, but all right, here we go. The first item that we're gonna have for lunch is... Okay, that's weird. I did not plan to get this um it's just very big and like i said literally five seconds ago i have so many pineapple fidgets so we just so happen to get one i knew that was coming and that's not all though we're gonna keep going all right the next thing we're gonna have for lunch is <gasps> ramen noodles ah, okay actually this is great because i already have these at home so i don't have to go to the store and get them ramen noodles yes for the win um, that's already a pretty filling lunch, so I'm just gonna choose one more. So the last one is a tomato. Okay, that's so random. Um, like what I mean by that is it's such a random combo to have for lunch. It could be worse though, it could be much worse. So yes, we got the Orbeez tomato. And I'm just saying, I really don't like tomatoes whole like this. I'll eat a tomato on a sandwich or maybe like mixed in with a salad if it's finely chopped, but ugh, this is definitely going out of my comfort zone a bit. On the menu for lunch, little recap. We got pineapple, ramen noodles, and a good old tomato. All right, so we're gonna do a little transition. And before you know it, these food fidgets are going to be turned into the real deal. Ready? Here we go. Shazam! Lunch is served. This is sort of a weird lunch, but honestly, I feel like we got some pretty decent fidgets to make up a lunch. So I'm kind of contemplating on whether or not I should just get this over with first. I really, really, really don't like tomatoes. The only way I would actually enjoy just taking a big bite out of this is if I was starving. I'd have to be like starving in the woods for days to actually enjoy biting into a tomato. Um, yeah, like I said earlier, I like tomatoes on sandwiches and in salads, but uh, you know what? I'm gonna stop talking about it. I'm just gonna do it. So fidget tomato, real tomato, here we go. Ugh. I can do this, I'm not spitting it out. I'm not spitting it out. Mm -mm. I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna spit it out. I wish I had a drink or something. Okay, I swallowed it. You know what, I'm just taking one bite. It looks like a deer got into it. I remember my grandpa used to have a tomato garden and he would always be super mad because the deer would always eat his tomatoes and they look a little something like this. 
So anyway, that's done with. Now we're gonna have some pineapple because after that experience, I just want something sweet and tasty. So let's do this. I'm excited to get that taste out of my mouth. Mmm. Oh, that's so blissful. Actually, guys, pineapple is one of my very favorite fruits. I feel like it's definitely in my top three favorites. Comment a bunch of pineapple emojis if you also love pineapple. And now we are going to dig into our ramen noodles. So in my fidget collection, I have those neon colored ramen, but I just so happen to pick out this one. Woo! Ah, oh, I swear. I love ramen. And they're so cheap too, literally. I'm pretty sure that the dollar store sells ramen six for a dollar 25. Wait, flashback to my childhood. If you didn't know this about me already, I am obsessed with birds. They're my favorite animal and I love them. So when I was younger, I used to pretend that I was a bird. And when I would eat ramen, I used to pick up the noodles like this and pretend that they were worms and that I was a bird eating worms. So honestly, I am pretty satisfied with our fidget toy inspired lunch. If I had to give it a rating, I would give it a solid 7.5 out of 10. I will see you guys later on when it is time for us to select our dinner. Later that same evening. Okay, you guys, so it is now time for us to eat dinner. Okay, the first item we're going to be having is toast. Okay, this is a Minnie Mouse slow rising squishy. So next up, we are going to have Okay, all right, so technically this isn't really food. But what I mean by that is you don't swallow gumballs, like you just chew on it. So this will be our dessert. But you guys, this just gave me an idea. So I don't have rainbow gumballs at home, but I'm actually probably gonna go to Target and get like a mini gumball machine because I know they have one that matches this like perfectly. So that'll be really fun. So far we have the weird combo of toast and bubble gum for dinner. Like, can you look at me in the eye right now and tell me you've ever had those two items for dinner? Probably not. I've been on this earth for 23 years and I've never had that for dinner. So the next thing is, okay, let's, I feel like this is a poppet. Yes, this is definitely a poppet. Let's see what poppet we got. Okay, we got a purple popsicle poppet. That is so fun to say. Oh my gosh, purple popsicle pop it. That is probably my new favorite thing to say. Uh, so I think I'm probably gonna have a stomach ache after dinner tonight because yeah, very weird food combos so far, but we're gonna choose one more thing because I definitely don't think a popsicle and toast will fill me up. The gumballs don't even count for food because I'm not swallowing the gumballs. So this is the last item. Ah, please be good. Blueberries, what? I'm gonna go to bed hungry. Well, maybe not. Toast can be very filling. And you know what? I'm gonna make it peanut butter toast because look at this. It, I feel like the face part of this squishy, that looks like just regular bread. But then the ears, you see how they're darker? That looks like it could be a peanut butter spread or Nutella, but I think probably peanut butter. All these fidgets are very satisfying if I do say so myself. Oh, I'm pretty apprehensive about this dinner. But you know what? That's why this is a challenge. If it was all easy and perfect, then there'd be no challenging part to it. So let's go eat this crazy dinner. Weirdest dinner combo ever. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is quite something. I think the most normal part of our dinner is this peanut butter toast. I kind of burnt it a little bit, especially on the other side, like, yeah. And then of course we have our blueberries and oh my gosh, okay, the studio light and the sunlight is hitting this so perfectly right now. It just looks so tempting. Then we have a popsicle pop it. Wait, that's not the good side. Let's flip it over to the satisfying side. Yes! And then probably the most unique, strange part about this meal is the gumball machine. So I think first we are going to take a bite of our peanut butter toast. It's so good! Now we are going to have our blueberries. So something I've noticed about myself is I tend to really enjoy blueberry flavored desserts, such as blueberry cheesecake ice cream, blueberry muffins, blueberry pie, but blueberries themselves? They're okay. They're not bad. Usually I just eat them if I want to feel healthy. If they're not really my favorite fruit ever, comment below a blueberry emoji and then next to it, how much you like them on a scale of one to 10. One being like you hate them and 10 being you love them. I rate them like a, maybe like a 6.5 or a seven. And now the grape popsicle. I love this poppet. I don't remember where I got it from. 
but I really like it. Mmm, literally. The taste of this reminds me of my childhood. Great popsicles were always my favorite flavor. Eating a great popsicle while popping a pop that matches, it just, it makes me enjoy the experience so much more of eating a popsicle. And now to conclude this strange dinner of ours, we are going to have some gumballs. Now, these are really little gumballs, so I feel like three of them would equal like one big one. So I'm going to spin the knob three times and whatever three colors they get are the ones that I am going to have for like a little dessert. Okay, but I wanna see who here has psychic powers. What I want you guys to do is pause the video and comment below what three colored gumballs you think I'm going to get. So there's white, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink. I think I'm gonna get white, purple, and green. So let's see, let's see if we're right. Make sure you pause the video and comment your guesses. Ready, invisible quarter going in now. And let's spin it. Okay, so the first color that we got was orange. Not gonna lie, it's probably my least favorite color of gumball, and just in general. But okay, let's see what the next one is. Ooh, white! I like the white gumballs the most. I believe they're like root beer flavored. Now for the last one, it is green. Okay, wait, these are totally Irish colors. Like, aren't these the colors of the Irish flag? Yeah, green, orange, and white. Yeah, all right, so you know what? I'm actually going to chew these off camera like as soon as I'm done with this video because if I start chewing on these now, it's just gonna be annoying. You know how whenever somebody next to you just chomps on their gum super loudly and all you hear is no, that is so annoying. So I'm not gonna have you guys listen to me chomping on my gum. I'm just going to put them on my plate. Anyways, this was a lot of fun. If you guys like this video, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like me to do a part two, then let's see if we can get this to 10,000 likes. I love you guys to the minute back. Thank you again for watching. And one more thing before I go, comment below what your favorite meal was that I had today, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. All right, I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you later. Bye.